Hello. Welcome to day, we're going to call it 14. I am Lauren with Ask Your Mama Health. I am feeling a bit better lately. Got to see my kiddos and my partner. And so I took a, a few days off to give them my full attention. And now I'm back. I hope you're doing well. the space let's see what comes up today it feels good to be almost fully back to normal like Tell you that. <laughs> it's hard to be sick and have to take a week and a half of recovery and then get back into the swing of things. But the nice part is it gives me perspective. us appreciate what we do have, you know. And I got to sing with a friend of mine. Which I have not done for a long time, so that was kind of nice. We're in bed right now, so hopefully they don't come in here. <laughs> but it has been known to happen. Ooh, lots of butterflies. Anything else in there? on the deck the emperor and we have ace of wands six of wands reversed that little butterfly two of pentacles reversed another butterfly an infinity symbol and the six of pentacles reversed The Ace of Wands to me is always like movement forward with passion because Wands is fire and it talks of like the fiery passion of being able to do something you truly enjoy and something you connect with and something you're not as worried about making money, rather living your passion, being content and happy and like feeling it from the heart. So I feel like this one, that's what this one is saying. The fact that both of these have butterflies and they're backwards has some significance to me. I feel like in this one, 
I'm getting close. <laughs> I feel like with this one, the butterfly is flying away from what looks like a hairy situation and all of those wands and in all of those branches. So I feel like you are moving towards something calmer. and moving away from um, what caused you pain and sorrow. That's what I feel in here. The fact that this has blue and green makes me think that you are feeling not so constricted. And with the blue, you're able to speak. And with the green, you're able to heal your heart. So whenever we're talking about Two of Pentacles, it's usually a card about balance. And I think with it being reversed, it actually is just reminding us to stay balanced. That the juggle doesn't have to be hard. That we don't have to juggle. Because sometimes this one's like juggling. That's what it usually looks like. I feel like it's saying the juggle is over and you will find your own balance and whatever that looks like. And I think that's why there's like an infinity of the rainbow colors because I feel like it's starting to say um, you will find your own balance of colors. You'll find your own rainbow. And of course, fly like a butterfly out of the cocoon because we're coming into this new stage of life, right? The Six of Pentacles reversed. What it looks like normally. We sowed our seeds, now we get to see what grows. And I feel like that's a lot of what, what people talk about lately. If you watch videos and things of that nature um, of 2022 because we're coming up on that pretty dang quick, right? I'm gonna put some chapstick on, sorry. <laughs> 2022, as of tomorrow, is half a month away. A couple weeks, plus a couple days. Which is kind of crazy to think about how quickly this year has gone and I don't think the momentum's stopping anytime soon. I think that's what, you know, this overall spread is talking about, like taking leadership of your life, figuring out what you're passionate about, moving away from the hard, painful lessons and towards calmer shores, finding your own balance, and reaping the rewards of the seeds that you have sowed over, I would say, in the past three years. Three being 2019. Because it has been quite a transformative time for all of us. And it's needed to be. And I know I say that ad nauseum, but whenever you think about it, we've been through a lot. And... There have been some really good high points, but there's also been some really rough low points. And I think that's just the nature of where we're at at this stage in life, right? Because you can have those simultaneously. It's like whenever you have a happy cry, you're so filled with emotion that the tears come out, but you're happy. Conversely, you can still smile when you're sad, but it's that silver lining that helps keep you going. And I think we're all about to reap the rewards of this much, this very hard road and journey that we've been on. I know in the Denver area, we're supposed to get a high wind warning tomorrow with gusts of wind. And I think that is just another reminder as I hear my window moving, <laughs> which means it's already getting windy out. But it's such a reminder that it's time to clear out 
boy no longer serves, especially with the full moon coming up in Gemini, it's time to clear out what no longer serves. And I'm not saying that's going to be easy because there are things that we've held on to for a very long time and belief systems that we've held on to for a very long time and people that we've held on to for a very long time that no longer have a purpose in our lives. And what happens when those people and ourselves break our ties and maybe not drift away forever, but drift away for now? And how much time and energy can you pour back into yourself without having to do with certain people? Right? So I think tonight we're going to focus on releasing people, places, and things, nouns, if you will, <laughs> that no longer serve. <clears throat> so whenever we fully release with the full moon, we can um, be able to receive these blessings that we have blocked ourselves or other people have blocked us from because it's time. It's time to take action with passion. It's time to move away from things that we know no longer serve us so we can be better overall. So we can be better for our partners, our families, our children, for our children, but most importantly for ourselves. Because you are only you in this life. There is no other you. And we must take care of this before anything else. Or we can't fully give to others the way we want to, right? So, <clears throat> I am still a little froggy, so I, I apologize in advance. Go ahead and get in a comfortable position. If you wanted to put music on, you can pause this video for a moment and turn that on. Get comfortable with this out. <laughs> Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Let your shoulders relax. If you're sitting, make sure your feet are firmly on the ground. I want you to imagine a, a balloon, whatever color you like, even a rainbow, on a string and you're holding that string. And inside that bubble of a balloon goes these things that no longer serve. Maybe it's a job that no longer serves you. Maybe it's friends in your life that you've just grown apart from and you haven't been able to let go yet. Maybe it's family members that have become toxic and you need to create some boundaries and space from. Maybe 
Maybe it's this worry of not being abundant. Maybe it's someone you love deeply, but you know you also need to release. And if you, excuse me, but you feel the pull from your heart to put in the balloon, go ahead and do that now. Spirit, upon release of this balloon, I ask that you cut ties with these things, these people, places, and things that no longer serve the purpose of my life. Let me release these things and cut the ties so I can more willingly receive the blessings that you keep trying to give to me, that you keep trying to bless me with. Thank you for my many blessings. Visualize it floating away. And let's just sit for a second. feel. Go ahead and start to come back to your body. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Roll your shoulders and your hips. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. I hope that was really helpful. And that you found some things to put in the balloon to release to spirit, to God, whoever you resonate with. So you can feel lighter and more motivated and ready for 
for the next steps in your life. Thank you for joining me. Likes, comments, shares, subscribes, all well and good and appreciated. Feel free to reach out if there's need of assistance with anything else. And we'll see you next time.